Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I'm going to do the Rakobi test with the Volvo XC40. If you don't know what it stands for, well I've said it two million times. I will do the same trip three times with 90, 110 and 130 kilometers an hour GPS speed. On this car that's 92, 113, 133. Um, I will time it, so I start here, come back here, see consumption at that speed, try to do constant speed of course, see how much state of charge got down and then calculate the range, estimation of course, charge then see at that speed what 100 kilometers would cost with that speed charging and then uh, also time the whole thing with the charging speed of course, average charging speed, what the best speed is with this car. So let's charge to 50% and then I come back and charge to 50% again. Let's go! I am on my way. I'm driving 92 kilometers, well it's 93 right now, 92 kilometers of GPS speed. There is no eco mode or any other mode, so I'm just driving. Climate is not off, it's on one, so fan speed one, but AC is off, so it shouldn't take that much. I'm listening to a bit of music, um, and I will go uh, around 30 kilometers in one direction, turn around, and then go back, and then have to turn around again to get to the same charger that I started and you can see it's busy so keeping that speed all the time is of course hard I have to pass trucks but since there are cars faster coming from from behind I have to accelerate a bit to 100 or something I do my best but this is with every test uh, so every Rakobi test every range test I try to keep the speed as constant as possible Consumption right now is high um, because uh, the first seven kilometers are uphill. But let's go on and enjoy the drive. I just turned around, um, still driving my 92, it's the, tw the 26 kilometer it says it's not true because I'm driving further and then turning around, I think it's 65 kilometers or so, my round, I don't know, um, yeah, let's look at the consumption, pretty okay, and we're going downhill then. I mean, okay, I, I know this car, that's <laughs> what I mean. The car can be way higher consumption than this. This and this yeah that was a good run on the way uh, on, on the way there I had to pass three trucks or so but other than that and then maybe 100 meters before coming in here I had to slow down to 86 but other than that I could keep the 92 all the way top notch um, it was very nice um, charging with 100 oh it's going up 110. Ooh, it's going up and going up. That's nice. See, look at it in a second. Um, I will put all the data in here. So um, I know with Google Maps how long the trip should be. 
but what what the car shows me <coughs> shows me how the trip meter is off and then there's a different average consumption of course not that the car is showing i will put that all in here and the range and then the range calculated from five to eighty percent that's usually what you use when you drive a long distance and then 140 kilowatt but now it's going down to my god 111 <laughs> um, and then comparison to other cars how their consumption was um, we'll charge now to 50 percent and do the and then we we see how long it took and how many kilowatt hours we charge so we know average charging speed um, and then i can calculate 100 kilometers how that much will that cost almost done still 119 kilowatt it fluctuates around and i've seen that in the full charging test that i did in frankfurt that's how polestar and this car is charging but now it's done uh, in six minutes 11 it was seven minutes let's say 11.371 kilowatt hours oh the time <laughs> oh no <laughs> the important part oh my oh so 53 and a half minutes oh my <laughs> i'm an idiot it would be important <laughs> so now i put all the data in here uh the average speed uh including charging of course and then also in comparison with other cars um, and also how much it costs to charge this car 100 kilometers when you drive 90 kilometers an hour and all the rest all here <laughs> but i'm gonna go do the same thing now with 110. I'm on my way now I'm driving 113 well it should be <laughs> 113 still the same settings still the climate is on the same no AC but fan on one and I will try to keep the speed as good as possible was just only uphill so far and we'll do it what is it 65 kilometer round just turned around still driving consumption right now is this 251 but it's going downhill and everything drive was good I had to accelerate once to pass a truck and not uh, uh, be in the way of other cars but other than that I could yeah 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 the holding steering wheel is I am it takes so long till it does something. You have to jerk on it. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. But other than that, I could keep the speed very well. and time so that was a good run um, again I put the data in here consumption with the kilometers blah 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 charging with 98 kilowatt only what's going on get up <laughs> it should be more before it was way more maybe it takes so long to ramp up who knows um, yeah I put in a comparison of course I put in here too it was a really good run I think I only sped up one time and I had to slow down one time so it was really good 
And always when I turn around the two times, I try to, to use as less power as possible, but drive around 50. And then in the corner, try to accelerate already downhill. I really try to have low consumption. This is with every car. I don't favor anyone, <laughs> says the Volkswagen fanboy here. No, really, I really try to not favor anyone. Was, the traffic was okay, wasn't too bad. We'll see it 130 now. I hope that it's less. It's very busy. It's still holiday traffic. What is it? August 11th? Yeah. So charge to 50% and then see the time. Almost done. Yeah, the charging speed was pretty crappy on this session. It went down to 76 and now it stayed at 85 to 88. I was expecting a bit more. Almost done and it's going up now, but slowly. And now drop, there we are. 10 minutes for 14.873 kilowatt hours. And 49 minutes. Again, I put all the data in here. And then comparison to other car, average speed, including charging. Again, normally it charges better. I'm a bit, I don't know. I don't know if it's this car. <laughs> I don't know. The charging is really unreliable. And we can't say this is how it is. And now it says 11 minutes, but the ramping down took a bit. Yeah. Um, we'll now do the test at 130 kilometers an hour. I'm driving 133. Um, I, I'm already halfway and drive was good so far. One time I had to slow down a bit to 115, 120 for 10, 20 seconds. Other than that, it's going pretty well. Consumption right now is this. Let's go back to the starting point. bust but still my data and my time well that was a total bust it was all perfect and then five kilometers before uh, the highway on this side so maybe 10 kilometers before here or more I don't care um, poli police was on the side traffic jam and then everything slowed down to 60 70 for five kilometers long and then it was all just gone there was no traffic jams so i guess there was a heavy duty transport and it changed highways or something i don't know because then it was on the other side that uh, the, a lot of people driving and not um, driving on and then it was just so much traffic and everything uh, that's why my average speed is so low and then my consumption is low and my state of charge is not low enough but I did 130 kilometers an hour full range test, so we know around what the consumption would be. 140 kilowatt, 141, come on. Maybe it's charging a bit better now. We'll see, charge to 50%. Do my normal procedure, but again, average speed was horrible. 113, Ugh. Yeah, charging, it's so weird. Now I have 121 the whole time. It never went under 120. Before I was charging with 76 and 85 from, from 40% on. Uh, it's, it's 23 before 24, 26 degrees. The battery can't be cold. <laughs> it, it's, I don't know. And, and I charged now the fourth time. 
and it was at 150 kilowatt I've seen that should warm up the battery I don't know the charging is so unreliable Ooh, the truck turned off its cooling woohoo now you might say why don't you do the test again <laughs> because it's during the week I work full-time I have to get up tomorrow and work and it's 9 p.m. I want to go home and go to bed <laughs> so I'm not doing this test again I'm sorry I know at some point hopefully in a year YouTube will be my only job and then it's no problem I just do it again so it's an hour more it's fine still 123 kilowatt at 48 percent I don't get it and there we go it's going down so in eight minutes 16.586 kill nine minutes and it took well 44 and a half but this is not the time it should be with 130 okay I put the data in here again and by the way at the end of the video I put comparison with all the cars again but the whole the whole uh, the whole sheet and uh, there's a Google spreadsheets here in the description below of that as well um, I will now charge a bit more and then go home um, yeah a thing with this car at Ionity to have the charge port on the left is not good on the right I could if I go all the way here I can still charge on the left I couldn't go that much more left because then I can't open the trunk so even here now it was problematic and and the, the, the worst thing with this car the same as the Polestar 2 is that if you plug it in you have to hold it like this so the communication works if you just plug in the weight of the cable pushes it down and then the communication doesn't work very well and you get an error message I had that with the Polestar 2 and with the Fiat 500e and that's amazing in the rain when all the chargers don't have a roof ah okay but I will charge a bit and then go home thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye